Sipping on them like a bitch. Yeah, magic with the. So today I'm going to test out some sangria in the Kilimani. The team made a recipe for sangria, uh, red sangria and white sangria. I'm more of a red wine person and I, I kind of drink it. Actually, I don't drink it. I don't drink red wine, but I prefer it to white wine. White wine for me tastes like absolute poison, uh, but red wine at least tastes fruity, which is closer to natural flavours. I know grape is... I mean, wine's made from grapes, but... Red just tastes more organic. Then I'm gonna buy some ingredients to bake some cookies, some American style cookies. I like my cookies crunchy, crunchy and, and not too chocolatey, um, but it has to be crunchy. I hate those soft cookies. I think soft cookies should be made illegal and should only be made for babies who have no teeth. Um, that's my opinion on cookies. Yeah, it's a strong one, but it is what it is. So that's what I'm going to do today, uh, just driving to Kilimani now and then I'm going to head to Westlands with no petrol. Yes, yeah, so I need to get petrol. Uh, that's the plan. I'm not really a baking person, so this is my fourth attempt at getting cookies right. The last time I made them, they completely just smushed out onto the baking tray. Uh, and turned into one cookie and that wasn't the plan so I researched a couple of techniques as to how to get the cookies to set individually um, so I need to be patient and appreciate that greatness takes time that's what I'm telling myself anyway so this is the sangria one is white one is red I think it looks nice uh, strawberries, mint, fresh orange. This one's got mint and orange. Looks very pretty. So let me try it. Do you like it? Do you like it? Be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to push our wine. You like it? Yeah, it's good. I don't know. What do you like it? I like it. I like it. Ain't tryna be cool like you Wobbling around in your high heel shoes I'm clumsy, made friends with the floor Two for one, you know a bitch by four And two left feet, you know I always drop My first thing a girl did was pop And the whole damn cake and the cherry on top Shook up the bottle, I made a good girl You ain't even here to party It was so funny, I was just looking for my phone for half an hour And I realised that it was on my tripod Yeah Anyway, I'm going to get cracking and start making some cookies um, and see how they come out. If they're good, they'll be on the menu. If they're crap, um, I'll be emotionally scarred. I was debating, but I've decided I'm going to use dark chocolate. I feel like milk chocolate in cookies is just too sweet because the cookie is sweet. It's nice to balance it with like a, a bitter chocolate. It's going to try dark chocolate. I'm gonna do a salted caramel one as well, and I'm gonna add some chocolate chips. Um, the recipe I'm using is a 72 hour cookie dough. So you put it in the fridge so it's nice and firm. And it's supposed to stop the mix from melting. Yeah. So as soon as I got home, I was, my, my, my scalp was on fire. I just took out my braids. Um, yeah, so this is my life. I just, I just do what I feel. So I'm gonna start. Now, oh, it smells so good, so good. Okay, so I'm supposed to melt the butter until it turns brown. And then it, let it pop, 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 let it pop. Cool down, add sugar, 
and then take it from there. So fingers crossed this works out. I'm going to spend the next 20 minutes actually typing up the recipe. This is the most boring part. The most fun part is obviously eating it and making it. Um, I have to remember how I actually how I actually made them. I think I wrote down some notes. But yeah, that's the next. I'm so happy how these turned out like they are really dreamy and they taste amazing I think I'm gonna put more chocolate chunks in them but then I don't want it be to be overly sweet but I'm happy with the way they turned out yeah I think they look good <laughs> 